Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is to find out the support reaction for this truss. This is the truss which has different pointed loads. The loads are 5 kN and 4 kN acting in the vertical direction and acting in the downward direction and there is a horizontal or the lateral load of 3 kN acting horizontally. And the height of this truss is 4 meter while the horizontal dimension for this truss is given to us. So we are going to find out their support reactions. So let's consider this is support A and this is support B. So it is a hinge support so it can take the vertical load R, A, Y and it can also take the horizontal load R, A, X. While it is a roll support so it can only take the vertical load rb it cannot resist the horizontal load so it is only one reaction that is acting in the upper direction that is vertical reaction so to find out the rax ray and rb we will take help from the equilibrium equation so we will use these three equilibrium equation in order to find out the support reactions summation of moment equal to zero or summation of vertical forces equal to zero or summation of horizontal forces equal to zero so for the horizontal reaction, we will use this equation in order to find out the Rax. So, summation of horizontal force is equal to zero. So, the force is acting in this direction. Let's suppose we take as positive. And the force is acting in this direction. Let's assume we take as negative. So, all the horizontal forces are 3 kN and this Rax. So, this one acting in this direction is this Rax. So it is taken as positive and force acting in this direction it is taken as negative so it is 3 kN so it will be minus 3 summation of all the horizontal forces equal to 0 so if we shift this into the right side we get Rax is equal to 3 kN so, so the whole horizontal load will be taken by this support reaction which will be equal to the 3 kN so all the horizontal load is only taken by this support because it is a hinge support so it will resist this horizontal load so it will resist this horizontal load now to find out the ray and rb and rb these two are unknown so we will use the equilibrium equation of summation of moment because this equation can be used when we have only one unknown but here we have two unknowns that's why we will use this equation now let's suppose the summation of moment at any point equal to zero and let's suppose at point b equal to zero summation of all the moment and the clockwise moment is taken as positive while the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative this is just our sign convention so starting from this r a y so it is, it is acting in the upper direction so it will create the moment about point b in the clockwise direction so it will be taken as positive so r a y multiplying it with the moment arm because moment is equal to the force into moment arm so r a y is the force now moment arm is the distance from this a point up to the b because we want to find out the summation of moment at point b so it is the 3 meter plus 3 meter plus 3 meter so it is the total distance is 9 meter now this 5 kN will also create the moment about point b but it will create in the anti-clockwise direction so it will be taken as negative minus 5 into moment arm is this distance which is 3 plus 3, 6 meter. Now, 4 will also create the moment about point B in the anti-clockwise direction. So, it will be taken as negative again. So, minus 4 multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this point up to this point, which is 3 meter. This 3 kN will also create the moment about point B. So, it will create the moment in the anti-clockwise direction. So, minus 3 multiplying it with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from this vertical 3 up to point B which is 4 meter. So summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0. Now 9RAY if we shift all these billion to the right side we got 30 plus 12 plus 12. So by adding these values RAY we got 54. Now RAY if we divide this by 9 we got RAY equal to the 6 kN. So RAY is a support, this support reaction has a magnitude of 6 kN. 
Now, how to find out this RB? Now, we can use this equation in order to find out the RB because now we have only one unknown. So, now we can use this equation. So, let's suppose summation of all the vertical forces is equal to zero and the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So, the upward forces are RAY and RB. So, RAY plus RB is taken as positive because they are acting in the upward direction and minus this force is acting downward 5 kN and 4 kN so minus 5 minus 4 summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0 so I make all the forces equal to 0 now RB will be equal to the if we shift all these values to the right side we got 5 plus 4 minus RAY so now we know that 5 plus 4 it is 9 minus RAY RAY is 6 kN so RB comes out to be 9 minus 3, 9 minus 6, we got 3 kN. So RB is a reaction of 3 kN acting in the upper direction. Now this is the way how to find out the support reaction. You have to use 3 equilibrium equation, summation of moment equal to 0 or summation of vertical forces equal to 0 or summation of horizontal forces equal to 0 in order to find out the, your support reaction. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.